what are we taking home? For those institutions that have found beneficial collaborations, please pursue them. For those of you, as the director QS said earlier, we are open to questions of the National Council as the regulator. And not to forget that our work of reviewing the capacities and indicators is in progress, but it gets enriched by your feedback. So thank you all very much. And with those remarks, I would like to invite um, the Executive Director, Canon Alex Mugisha Kagume, to address you. First of all, I'm Mr. Silva Garjigozi, a full chairperson, National Council of Education, and all members and participants. I would like uh, Honorable, Chair, uh, Honorable Chair and also Honorable Guest for National Council to welcome me to this conference. And in the matter of time, I would like to thank all the participants and also thank you for gracing us and also to invite you to come and address this conference. And also the Minister Ministry as we transit to the exhibition and also receive our chief guest, the Minister of Education and Sports. Thank you. The Executive Director, National Council for Education, Vice Chancellor as President, and representatives of all higher institutions of learning here present. Our keynote speakers still present, and those who are not here, but have been here since we came. Uh, different contributors to this conference. Our students and other stakeholders interested in higher education who are here and those who have been here before. Our management and staff of National Council of Education. Ladies and gentlemen, I salute you all. I'm sure everyone knows today's Friday. I would have been rushing to the mosque for my prayers, but all the same, I think God will come in through. They know that I'm here, but I will do the need for. As you are all aware, uh, National Council of Education made a call for papers and paper submission some time back regarding this conference and the banner of its 11th higher education exhibition, which is going on uh, down there. And as chairperson of council, I remember urging management of National Council to proceed with the arrangement with all our blessings as council. The council is composed of 20 members, uh, fortunately it is inclusive, from all institutions not only institutions of higher learning, but from all relevant constituencies. And we have read the principle that they go ahead to do the, the need for in as far as calling for papers is concerned. I'm happy that that was done and you are here. I pray and I think that you have benefited from your presence here. I wish to acknowledge and appreciate and thank the keynote speakers we have had since this conference started. I'm aware Professor Tkodro was here, Gideon Tavas was here, uh, our PS in the ICT ministry, Mr. Bajini, was here, and other members who have made different presentations in this conference. We don't take you for granted. Uh, we, we really appreciate your acceptance, first of all, and of course, having presented the papers. Therefore, as a council, we thank you for that. And this, in my opinion, demonstrates the will and the commitment and the value you all attach to higher education and higher learning of our students. We have always cried that we should skill our students, we should give all the opportunities available to the students and the children of this country. And if you people came out to do this for on behalf of government, especially institutions, uh, private institutions, we really, we really thank you for that. And please keep up the spirit. Of course, for government institutions, or which are normally referred to as public institutions, that's a given. 
government would have done that. But you from the private institutions will give you an extra credit for not only investing your monies in higher education, but also doing that service to this institution. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm a lady organizers for the first annual conference. And those who carefully chose the speakers and the keynote presenters. This is very good and we appreciate. For those who may not be aware, I'm equal an education, I'm also an education from way back. And I always pose to my colleagues where we normally meet that I'm, the, I'm one of the few people who has lectured in the universities, who has taught in secondary, I was registered in the teacher training college, I was a headmaster of a primary school, and I own a professional school. So I'm from where to say it. <laughs> so anything to do with education, I'm 100% there. I equally served as executive director of the Ghana Manufacturers Association, where you are here. And one of the issues I used to tell my members is that we should have skilled people in our industries. I'm an industrialist. And I'm thankful to you people that you have done your best to give us skilled people in as far as placement and deployment in our industries is concerned. Because you are not training for yourselves. You are training for those people who have industries, who have jobs, who have, you know, all sorts of enterprises. We thank you and please keep up the spirit. We only urge you that you should put an extra mile in as far as giving us quality, well-skilled graduates and products are concerned. That's our will and that's our prayer. Let me hope that this conference on high education has stimulated all those involved. And ideas discussed here shall be followed for planning and problem solving in different aspects of our activities. On behalf of the National Council for Education, I am indeed, indeed appreciative for the work done by the National Council, rolling out our, our mandate as a council, by this I mean management, it and your team. And I believe now that we have almost 52 universities and eight other degree awarding institutions in this country, plus 200 other tertiary institutions, these kind of conferences and seminars and workshops will take us to another level. Because the more we get exposed, the more we get to get ideas from others, the more we share, the more we go back and see how best we can get better products from our institutions. Let me hope that after this workshop, the indicators will be used appropriately. Uh, this is because you are aware that Uganda's 2040 vision requires that the country produces skilled, knowledgeable, and entrepreneurial manpower. This is a given. We don't have to debate that. We wouldn't love to produce anybody who cannot produce something for himself or herself, even without getting a formal job. We should have that in mind and should always be at the back of our minds. The mechanism we use to educate our people in higher education should therefore consider all the attendant requirements towards that uh, ambition. I wish once again to thank all different categories of people who have been here and your time, your dedication. I wish to thank again our management, National Council for Education. I wish to thank government for the support they are giving us because if we don't have government support definitely as a regulatory body, we wouldn't be here. We want to thank all stakeholders and those who have sacrificed the time to be here and they did persevere up to the last day. In my religion, we say, may the Almighty bless you and reward you for all the time you have spent here. With those few remarks, I will thank you again and officially close this workshop. God bless you.